With the Kharkiv counteroffensive in full swing, Russian troops destroyed three bridges at A, B, and C, and it appeared that the counteroffensive would continue along the area where the three yellow arrows are marked. So how did we get to this position, where they had liberated point B and crossed a bridge that was supposedly one kilometer long? In this video, I'm going to show you how they pulled it off, and in addition, I'm going to take you down on the ground so you can see just what it was like. But first, let's take a look at the fires map that shows where the battles were. Notice how they hit the areas before they actually cross the bridge and look at how the bridgehead expands. Ukraine could either advance over bridge A which is much shorter or bridge B but let's take a look at bridge A. You can see right here it's 194 meters. Let's take a closer look at this thing. Here let's zoom in with Google Earth and as we get closer you're going to see exactly what it looks like. It's actually a lot harder than it looks. It's not so simple because of the sides. It's pretty much swamp over there and over here you've got pretty much the same thing. And to make matters worse it was in range of artillery. Bridge B, Starry Saltiv's bridge, is much longer. Check out how long it is. But things are not always as they seem. Check out the middle section there. You won't see this on a map unless you take a close look at it. And this is a view from the Russian side right here. Notice the trees there. They don't have any real high ground. Now, as we pan back towards the Ukrainian side, I want to know if you can spot that. Look at that little section in the middle. When the Russians went to blow the bridge, they only blew a small section in the middle. So now let me take you down on the ground. So you you can see just how small that section is and how they did it. Okay, so on both sides, there's a kind of like a berm of dirt and cement on it. You can see right here, it's almost like, like a boat launch right here. So they came down this side right here. You can come right down there. Each of these sections is only about 27 feet. And it's very easy to put a pontoon bridge here because it's hard for the enemy to see you. In addition, you can see how, just how easy it is for amphibious armored personnel carriers to drive down one side and drive up the other. Also notice that the majority of Russian artillery does not cover this bridgehead area. This makes it a very good spot for invading. In fact, from here, they can go anywhere 